welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shaylin and in today's video, baby, we are stepping out of the fashion realm and your girl is stepping into the tech zone, okay? Who am I? I don't know, who is she? We don't know, okay? I wanted to do this video for you guys because it was so highly requested on my Instagram. I posted on my Instagram story and shared with you guys my new iOS 14 updates to make my screen, you know, aesthetically pleasing, showing you guys my new widgets and what have you. Oh my God, I feel like such a techie, like. I'm a techie. I shared that with you guys and you guys really enjoyed it and I got tons of requests to do a tutorial. Now baby, if you are one of the people who are like, what's iOS 14? What, what did she update her screen? What are you talking about, baby? Nobody likes a latecomer, okay? So go ahead, follow me on Instagram so you can be first to the party next time, okay? But I'm gonna cut you some slack, okay? I'm gonna share with you guys what my screen looks like. So if you are interested in getting your screen to look like this, which I am very proud of, okay? Sometimes you gotta do it, okay? But before we go ahead and jump straight into today's video, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss an upload. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay babe, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my phone screen on the, ooh girl, you are not a tech person. You are not a tech person. <laughs> All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me start my screen recording so that way y'all can get the full feel, okay? So now that you guys can see my first page, so this is basically the page that I see when I first open my phone. So basically I'm gonna walk you guys through how I did everything. So the first thing that I did was I went on Pinterest. Girl, Pinterest is going to be your best friend when doing this, okay? Now one thing I will forewarn you guys about, when you make changes to all of your apps, they're creating shortcuts. So basically what it's gonna do is you're not gonna be able to see your little notifications anymore, which irritated me anyways, because it was just like, it made me feel pressured to like get back to all my emails or feel pressured to get back to all my text messages. So I actually prefer the way it looks without the little notifications, but that's something to keep in mind. And then every time you click on something, like for example, if I click on Pinterest, you guys can see it goes to the shortcuts first and then it opens the app. That doesn't bother me personally, but if it's something that bothers you, then doing all these changes and upgrades are not gonna be worth it to you. Girl, this is just the way I know how to do it. And from what I've seen so far, this is the only way to do it, okay? So maybe on iOS 15, 16, we can get rid of that. Apple, you hear me? Okay, all right, so let's, so what the first thing that I did is, girl, I love Pinterest. I just went in Pinterest and I typed in like, um, aesthetic background or something like that. So you first wanna find your background. I just have like this cute, nude photo with like coconuts. I will link it down below just in case you guys wanna use like the exact wallpaper as me. I will link it in the description box below for you guys to check out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the first step. So say you are starting off on a blank page, which I'm gonna do, let's just add a random, let's add some random emojis back so we can have like a, blank page. Okay, boom. So now we have a blank page as you guys can see, and I'm gonna basically make this look like the first page that I have. So as you guys can see, you may have your, like, your regular apps there. Okay, we're gonna switch that. We're, we gonna get it cute, okay? So the first thing that you want to do is download an app, and the name of that app is called Widget Smith, okay? So you wanna download the app Widget Smith. It just looks like a blue black little square and then once you download that girl this is where the magic happens okay so as you guys can see when you get into your widgets the widgets come in all different shapes and sizes they come in small they come in medium and they come in large now i've chose to use all of the widgets but you don't have to you can do whatever fits your aesthetic but i'm going to show you guys what i did to get page one so on page one i used actually a medium widget so if you wanted to do this what you would do is you would click add medium widget and then once okay I added two once you add that it pops up and then you click on it and then once you click on it you click on it again and so once you come in here you can see actually like all the options and choices that you have which is a lot so you don't have to set up yours exactly like mine but baby that's what we're gonna do because that's what y'all asked for y'all liked how mine looked so I'm gonna show y'all how to get my look okay so what I basically used was the one that says the date, um, like Monday the 21st and then September, so I used day and date. 
So once I used that, I went into the fonts where you can select which font you like. I personally went with the font in New York. That's the one I liked. I thought it was super cute. And then you can also go into the tint color. So there's so many color options to choose from. I personally went with gray. Honestly, you guys, I really, really liked the white, but I found that the white was a little bit hard to see on my background. Um, so I just decided to go for the gray instead. So let's go ahead and pick the gray. And then for the background color, I went with cream. The cream is just so cute. If you are someone who likes neutrals, the cream just looks good in my opinion. So once you're done with all of that, you've made all your selections, you wanna click back where it says medium and then number four, and this will be whatever number you're on. So if it's your first time creating a widget, it's gonna say medium number one. So once you get back to that, now you have it exactly how you like it, and then you can hit save. So that's what I'm gonna do. So now we see that it's medium number four. Okay, so now if we want to add this to our home screen, what we're gonna do, oh my God, I feel like a teacher, y'all. This is so funny, okay. So what you wanna do is hold down your home screen and in the top left-hand corner, there is a plus sign. So you wanna click on that plus sign. Ooh, some old photos of me, not cute, okay. And then you wanna scroll all the way down until you see Widget Smith, okay. Once you see that, you're going to go to the medium because we just created a medium widget. So what you wanna do is hit add widget. And now as you guys can see, it's clearly picking up another widget that I've already created. So if you've created multiple widgets, what you wanna do to change it to the widget that you had previously is just double tap on it, click on where it says medium widget number two, and then you'll see all the options that you have for the widgets. So ours that we just made was named medium number four. So I'm gonna click that and boom, it's changed, okay? So now that I've showed you guys how to do one of the medium widgets, you can pretty much do this with anything. Um, so if you guys see here, I've actually used like a picture of myself there. You can input custom pictures, you can put input custom quotes. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can make like your own custom quote in there as well. What I personally did was I created my quote using Fonto because I was very, very particular about what font I wanted. So if in this case, what you would do is just go into the app Fonto, you would go into your photo album where you save like the color palette pictures that you like. And say for example, I want the background to be brown of this one, I would just hit done. Then you would tap the screen, hit add text. And then say I wanted this to say, um, pray often like a cute little quote. By the way, the name of the font that I'm using is Jenna Sue. So if you want the font that I have, that is the name of the font that I'm using. So I hit done and then I move this to the middle by clicking layout. Boom, it's in the middle. Now you can make the, obviously the font size bigger. I don't feel like it needs to be, um, actually I can make it like a little bigger. I'll make it to like 130 should be good. All right, and then I'm gonna move it back again because it probably got shifted. And another nice thing too, even if you wanna change the colors of this, you can do that as well by going under style. You can change the color of the font. Um, girl, you can add a little stroke. If you want a little outline, you can really get creative here. And this is what I'm saying when I say it takes so much time, you guys, because literally it just, it's a lot. Okay, so if you wanna get fancy with it, go ahead. But I'm gonna do mine simple because that's how I did mine on my phone. So now that we have what we wanted to say, we just wanna click this box in the right hand corner. And then we wanna hit save image. Okay, now that it's saved successfully, now what we wanna do is we want to go in and add another widget. So again, what we're gonna do is go to widget smith, and let's see, we're gonna make another medium widget. So we'll add another medium widget, just for example. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on that again, click on it again, and then you're gonna go to custom and then hit photo. So once you go to photo, you can hit selected photo, then choose photo, and then baby pray often is right there, okay? Now we're gonna back out where it says medium number five, and then we're gonna click save. Now that that's saved there for us, now we're gonna go back to that screen and we are going to add that widget. So again, clicking the plus sign in the upper left hand of the screen, 
And guys, I feel like I'm talking so much, but I promise you guys, the more you do this, the easier it'll get. It'll become kind of quick for you. At least that's how it worked out for me. So we're gonna click on Widget Smith again. We're going to go in with medium because that's what we just added. And again, to change it, you just simply click on the widget, click on where it says medium number two or whatever number it says. We wanna change it to number five and then boom. So that's how I personally do the ones with words. So if you wanna create your own quote, I personally did not like any of the fonts that come within the Widget Smith app. So I preferred to do my sort of font outside of the Widget Smith in Fonto. Okay, so now that you guys see how I do the different type of medium widgets, now I wanna move on and show you guys how you can pretty much do the small widgets. Now it's pretty much the same concept except for you want to choose the different size. So let me just really quickly go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So for example, we're gonna go back to Widget Smith. Girl, Widget Smith is gonna be your best friend. As you guys can see, I've made so many because I, I wasn't really sure like what I wanted to go for. So I'm gonna add another small widget. Boom, we're gonna click on it again. Then we're gonna go under, and you can do custom text. This is what I meant. Like you can do your text under here. I just preferred to do mine in Fonto first because I really like that font from Fonto. So I'm gonna go into photo. We're gonna select a photo. Let's just use something random. Let's use this Prada bag. So boom, then you hit small eight, save. And again, pretty much do the same thing. So we're gonna click down on the screen. We're gonna hit the plus sign, scroll down to Widget Smith, add widget for the small widget. And as you guys can see, it's picking up a different photo that I don't want, a different widget that I don't want. Um, so now we're gonna click on it, it says small number six. We are gonna actually click on small number eight because that's the one we just did. And boom, there you go. So, and of course you guys, I want you guys to know that you can move these around however you would like, whatever you, whatever look you're going for. You don't have to do the same layout as me, but just so you guys are kind of aware of how to do everything that I've pretty much done. Okay y'all, so now that I've kind of showed you guys how to create the medium and small widgets, I'm gonna show you really quickly how to do the large one as well, um, just so you guys are aware of how to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this widget. Okay, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and remove this widget so that we can add in a large widget because the large widget takes up a lot of space. Um, so we're gonna actually remove both of these. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the plus sign and then I'm gonna go into Widget Smith again. And this time what you would do is just add the large widget. So again, you would follow the steps that we just did to create the small and medium widget, except for when you're going into Widget Smith, you would click on the large. I hope that makes sense. Actually, let me show you guys really quickly. If I wanted to create a large widget, what I would do is I would go into Widget Smith and then once I'm in Widget Smith, I would scroll down to where it says large widgets and then you just hit add large widget. And then again, you click on it, click on it again. And this is where you can make all the custom changes that you want. You can, again, use a photo, use text, you can do time. There's a bunch of things. You can do location. You can change the font, the color, basically everything that you can do in the different sizes. So what I'm gonna just show you guys is quickly how to add a large size. So now what you wanna do for the large is just hold down on your screen, add the plus sign again. We're gonna go to Widget Smith again. We're gonna go to large, add widget. Oh my God, me and my grandpa. So then I'm going to change it to the large widget number three because that is the just the most recent one we made. So boom, this is what the large widget number three would look like. Again, you can customize this like I have and use like a picture of yourself or a collage of pictures, which I think looks really cute there. So that's an option that you guys can do for a large widget, okay? So now I'm gonna show you guys what I think is pretty much the most time consuming parts and it's the apps. So basically as you guys can see on my screen, all of my apps are sort of like in this sort of nude color palette. Um, so what I did was I simply literally you guys went on Pinterest, typed in nude wallpaper and then I just looked for colors that I liked. So for example, this is one of the colors that I used. Um, 
and then I just and this is one of the colors that I use so I just scrolled through this until I found colors that I liked and then I picked four colors that I liked and I kept reusing those four colors if you guys don't know how to save a picture from Pinterest I'll just show you guys really really quickly it's super easy so you just click on the picture say I wanted to use this one as a background I just click the three little dots here and I hit download image and then boom, it's downloaded into my camera roll for me to use. Okay, so now that we've used that one for our camera roll, I'm also gonna go ahead and show you guys how you can actually change your regular looking apps from like this boring Fonto app to a uh, more aesthetically pleasing. Now I've actually seen people use actual pictures. Now I chose not to do that because I just felt like it would look too busy. I prefer to just be like clean, just like colors. I just think it looks neater, classier, as opposed to like different images for each app. And girl, that was just too much work. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's just too much work. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys how I'm gonna change this Fonto app to a nude, aesthetically pleasing app. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is what we're gonna do is essentially create a shortcut. So what you wanna do is go to the shortcut app on your phone. So once you're in the shortcuts app, if you don't have the shortcuts app, you can download it from the app store. I actually deleted mine, so I had to re-download it because I'm famous for deleting apps. So as you guys can see, I've created shortcuts for all of these apps. Now me personally, I didn't want to have 50 apps of pages. So what I did was I selected the apps that I mainly use to stay on my homepage, and then I just hid everything else. So you'll still have those apps to utilize, but you don't have to have like 50 million apps on your homepage, which I think is a really, really nice update for iOS 14. So now let's go ahead and get into creating a shortcut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click the plus sign in the upper right hand corner, and then you're gonna hit add action. So after you hit add action, you're gonna select scripting. Okay, and then you're gonna click where it says open app. And then once you click that, you're gonna click where it says choose. And so here is where you wanna select the app that you're trying to change. So we are trying to change the Fonto app, so I'm going to select that. Then you wanna click on the three dots and name it. So this is the name that's gonna appear below the shortcut that we're creating. So I'm gonna put in Fonto because I want it to be the same, but of course you can change the name if you would like. So then we're gonna click done. And then once you do that, you are gonna click in the bottom right hand corner where that little square is. You're gonna click on that and then you're gonna hit add to home screen. Now, this is where you guys will be able to go ahead and add a photo to that app. So you're gonna click on, you see how like the little orange box at the bottom is sort of outlined, you wanna click on that and then it's gonna, you can hit choose a photo. So then once you hit choose a photo, we're gonna click on that nude image that we just downloaded from Pinterest and then we're gonna hit add. Then we're gonna exit out of here and boom, it is right here. It went on my other page, but this is the app. So as you guys can see, this is the original Fonto app and then if I get out of that, this is the new Fonto app. And as I showed you guys before, it is going to go to the shortcuts first when you click on the app. So that's a little bit annoying, but I don't really mind it like I told you guys. So now at this point, now that we have the Fonto app that we want and it looks the way we want, we can go ahead and remove this one. So what you wanna do is just hit remove app and we're gonna hit move to app library. So what you don't wanna do is delete the original apps because obviously if you delete the original apps, then the shortcuts won't work because they're shortcuts, they're not apps. Um, but again, it looks super cute, super aesthetically pleasing if I do say so myself. And so that's pretty much how I do that. I just kind of repeat that process. I hope I explained that clearly. Of course, if you guys have any questions Go ahead and leave them in the comment section below because baby, I just feel like I'm talking so, so, so much. Like I always talk a lot, but it's like, I feel like I'm teaching a lesson and I just feel like I'm blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, going on and on. Girl, I need some water. The mouth is dry. So the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is how I got my little boxes at the bottom. Now I went over with you guys how to change the backgrounds and things like that, but I'm gonna show you guys how to get like words and writing on your apps as well. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how I would do like one of the iPhones or one of the messages. So I'm gonna really quickly show you guys how I would do that. So of course what we're going to do is we are going to go to shortcuts again. 
Well, actually what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create essentially what we want to be our app and what we want it to look like. So we're gonna go into Fonto, girl. Fonto is like my ride or die. Okay, I love Fonto. So you go into Fonto, you're gonna go to your camera roll. You're going to go into photo album. Let's just say we want the background of it to be this cute pink color because I think it's so cute. And then all you're gonna do is write what you want it to be called. So let's say it's our messages. So we're gonna just type messages. Boom, we're gonna move that to the middle and then we're just going to save that image. Okay, it's successfully saved. All right, and so once we've done that, now we're going to go into shortcuts again, and we're going to hit the plus sign like we did before, add action, scripting, open app, and then we're going to hit choose, and we are going to choose the messages, okay? And then what we're going to do after that is we're going to name it. Now I can't name it messages because I already made one, so I'm gonna name it texts. So we're gonna hit done. Then we're gonna hit again in the bottom right corner, the little square. We're gonna hit add to home screen. Again, we're gonna click the box that has the outlining around it. And then we're gonna click choose photo. And then boom, there's our messages. Boom. So the reason that I decided to, of course, put the text on the little boxes at the bottom is because at the bottom, it doesn't show you like what app it is. So I thought it was important for me to know what app, obviously, so I'm not confused. But that's pretty much how I did everything to achieve the screens that I have. If you guys have any questions or if something was a little bit confusing to you, please feel free to use me as a resource and leave a comment down below and I will try to answer it best as I can. Again, you guys, have fun with this. This is something that takes time. You know, put on your favorite Netflix series, your favorite Netflix show. I personally put on Sister Sister and I just got to editing. I got in the zone, okay? I was trying things out, seeing what I didn't like. And sometimes you have to repeat these steps. You have to do it over and over again to see what you like and what you don't like. I hope you guys have found this tutorial helpful. I tried to make it as simple as possible, but I realized I was doing a lot of talking because my mouth is very dry, okay? So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and think I did a good job on my background because I'm pretty impressed with myself but I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time bye